Hi, this is Kika Goods. Today, we are going to unbox Misterpa China Grand Hotel Series Refrigerator Magnet Blind Bag. Before diving in, let's see the previous Mr. Par series. You can get them from our online store. And don't forget to hit subscribe button in the lower right corner for more unboxing reviews. This series is truly surprising. I mean, I really appreciate these designs that are both fun and interactive. For this series, it has 24 regular designs and two hidden designs to collect. Can't wait to open it and enjoy it. Now, let's take a look at what's specifically inside the hotel. It's a really big bag. I can tell you that each bag contains four independent minifigures. On the back, it shows illustrations of other styles, a variety of foods that look delicious. No matter which one we get, I love all of them. Oh, it seems to be Bamboo Tube Rice. This is its card. I'm sure it is the very popular dish, Bamboo Tube Rice. Outside is a layer of green bamboo with a cute expression, as if it's smiling at us. And the bamboo node details at both ends look incredibly realistic. And the bright green of the bamboo contrasts sharply with the soft, fragrant rice inside. You know, sometimes mixed with meat, vegetables, or herbs, it seems I can almost smell the faint, fresh aroma already. You see, the back features a magnetic design so it can stick to fridges or other metal surfaces. It's a really, really pretty figure. Okay, let's continue. Who are we going to get for our second one? We got this one. Do you know that? It's Frozen Pear. To be honest, I almost mistook it for a sesame-filled tanguan just now. The material is absolutely amazing. It's very small, but designed with so many intricate details. As we can see, frozen pears have a unique and distinctive appearance. The outer skin turns dark brown or black due to the freezing process, giving it a rustic, frosted look. I'm sure you'll love this style as much as I am. Here we have number three. Oh, we got this one, pearl milk tea. It's super precious. The design has a clear distinction between the top and bottom. I think this figure is incredibly pretty. And the cutest part is the little cream-like hat on its head. As for the lower half, it's quite familiar. It reminds me of the milk tea I've had. It's obvious, with plenty of pearls. And I really love this design. Imagine that. Having a cup of milk tea after a meal is definitely a great idea. All right, next one. I really appreciate the playful aspect of this series. Oh, this looks pretty. And the color is so gentle. I know this one is green rice balls. Has this panda transformed into a green rice ball? Oh no, it's just lying on top of it. The panda is made of flocked material. And if you touch it yourself, you'll find it amazing. So soft and irresistible. I'd say this can definitely be considered one of the classic delicacies. The round, plump little green rice ball is highly recommended for you. Okay, we're going to open this bag now. By the way, can you let me know which one is your favorite so far? So, you can guess what's inside. Oh, it's a crayfish figure. I don't mind telling you, crayfish is a must-order dish for me. And this one is just too cute. The little panda is wearing a crayfish headpiece. I guess this may be a cooked crayfish, as they usually turn red after cooking. Because of the headpiece, its chubby cheeks look even cuter right at this moment. And look, I really love the glossy finish on it. Looks absolutely adorable. Now, I'm getting more and more excited for the ones coming up. Come on, let's open these up and appreciate them together. For this one, I think it doesn't need much explanation. It's the dumpling we all know. They are a traditional Chinese dish, typically shaped like a crescent or half moon. 
Especially during the Chinese New Year, dumplings are extremely popular. By the way, I really like this functional design. I think it will look great on the refrigerator. All right, moving on to our next blind box. Do you know this one? It's called the roasted duck. Let's take a closer look at the details. I have to say, this is definitely my favorite one so far. Maybe it's because I personally love roast duck. You see, it has a flat little beak and two adorable duck feet. But the best part is, look at that glossy red shine all over it. It really reminds me of delicious roast duck. By the way, I absolutely love how it feels in my hand. It's so delicate and cute. So, what do you think about this one? This is the last one in this bag, after getting the roast duck. Now I want a bit lighter dish at this time. Oh, look at this one. It's supposed to be a piece of mapo tofu. It's really, really pretty. I want to say, the details of this tofu are fantastic, including its color. You see, which features a yellow to white gradient effect, giving it a very layered look. The top is covered in a layer of chili oil or some kind of sauce, I'm not exactly sure, and garnished with some chopped scallions. Anyway, it looks incredibly delicious. I have to admire the designer's understanding of food. I really love this one. There are still many figures waiting for us to open, so let's get on with it. Now, I'm going to open these four figures together. Guess what we've got here? Let's see these four figures in detail. So, this is what the four figures look like. Do you recognize these four types of food? To be honest, they are all classic and delicious. If you look closely, every detail is handled exceptionally well, generally speaking, all of them are incredibly cute. For these four figures, they are all different. And I'm glad that none of them are repeats. The variety of flavors is impressive. So far, if I had to choose, it would be really hard to pick just one, as each one is truly awesome. Okay, let's go on. For me, seeing them in person is really amazing. When I hold them in my hands, I find them incredibly delicate and interesting. Another point is that through this series, I've discovered foods I've never seen before. I mean, I've never encountered such adorable mini foods. Now, these are the last four styles. I would say this is a very enjoyable unboxing experience, even though I haven't got a hidden style yet. To be honest, as a huge fan of this series, I truly want to recommend them to you guys. So, Let's enjoy these delicious food minifigures together! Thank you so much for watching our blind box unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button and share it with your fellow collectors. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more unboxing content. This is Kickagoods. See you next time.